And then we are done, I'm going to place this black boy right here, this black box, green box, white box, whatever you want to call it. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This video right here got requested on Twitter. I don't know why anyone would request this very topic right here because in my opinion there are already so many videos on YouTube covering this right here. But we are still going to give it a shot. Papa is trying to fulfill your wishes as best as he can. Let's just dive right in. So we want to show today that irrational to the power of irrational can indeed be rational. So that's the question today. And for this I would just like to take a look at the square root of some number. What is this number exactly? Well, we want some n to be element of the natural numbers, positive integers. But we want to place a few restrictions on n right here. At first we would like n to be even. You will see later why this is important. So n being even means that we can decompose n into 2 times k, where k is element of natural numbers. But also, we don't want n to be a perfect square. What does that mean? Well, it would spoil all the fun for us because, for example, if n is 16, which is indeed a perfect square, it's nothing but 4 to the second power square, um, square of 4, 4 squared. I'm stupid. That also means that the square root of 16 is nothing but 4 in this case. Like I said, it would spoil all the fun. We don't want that. So those are our restrictions on n. And now we are just going to raise square root of n to the power of square root of n. Because if n is not a perfect square, if we take the square root of a natural number, which is not a perfect square, it's going to be irrational no matter what. That's a well-known fact in number theory. We're going to take it for granted today. Maybe I'm going to prove it in the near future. So that also means we now take square root of n to the power of square root of n. We're going to call this little number z right here and we can have two cases now. Either this bit boy right here is already rational. So case one, z is rational. Well, that means that we are already done because irrational to the power of irrational would be rational in this case. But we can have a second case, namely case two z is not rational. Well, that also means, that's equivalent to saying that z is indeed irrational. But that's quite good, because we could raise this z to the power of square root of n once again. That would be irrational to the power of irrational. And we will see what we get. So, what happens if we raise z to the power of square root of n? Well, that's nothing but saying we raise square root of n to the power of square root of n to the power of square root of n. Let's put it here. So let's put it here to the power of square root of n. Let's do it that way. Well, we can use the power properties to turn this into square root of n to the power of square root of n times square root of n. Well, this is just n squared, but the square root, this is just going to be n. So we have the square root of n to the nth power. But what exactly is the square root of n? Well, this is nothing but n to the one half power, but to the power of n. And don't forget what our n originally was by our restrictions. n is even. We can decompose it into two times k. And now we can once again use the property of the um, powers right here to turn this into n to the one half times 2k power. This and that is going to cancel out. We are going to end up with n to the kth power. And well, an integer or a natural number to a natural number integer power is just rational in this case. And then we are done. I'm going to place this black boy right here, this black box, green box, white box, whatever you want to call it. And if you would like an explicit example, you can just replace this n right here by the number 2. And you are going to end up with the most general example, the, the most um, easiest example most people here on YouTube are going to choose for this right here, for this little proof. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, um, buy the stupid ass t-shirt I created right here or support me on Patreon. I really don't care. I love you guys. I appreciate you and up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya!